Hey there guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install WhatsApp on your iTouch, uh, even iOS 7 and uh, iOS 6 as well. Um, what you're going to need, uh, you're going to need the uh, IPA download um, from iTunes into your iTunes media folder as well as an iPhone that has been uh, activated with uh, WhatsApp on it with the same um, iOS based version that you're using. So for example, if you have um, an iOS 6 uh, iPod Touch, you're going to need an iOS 6 uh, iPhone that has uh, WhatsApp activated on it because um, WhatsApp requires you to uh, go ahead and put in an activation number that it sends to your phone in order to verify that uh, you're legit. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get this thing called iFunbox. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And you're going to want to go ahead and connect up your iPhone. So Ben's iPhone over here. Go into user applications, scroll down to WhatsApp. You can see that I've got a uh, the WhatsApp uh, thing going here for iOS 7. They just updated for iOS 7, which is really nice. So go ahead and just open this up, and you're going to want to copy the documents and library uh, things. So you're going to just select these two folders, hit the copy to Mac thing, and just go ahead and select desktop. And you're going to see it's copying them down here, and then now I have a library and documents folder on my desktop. Uh, so now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and disconnect your iPhone and you're going to actually connect in your iPod Touch. Uh, mine is actually just going to boot up here. And so <clears throat> while we wait for that to boot up, just make sure you can locate your, uh, your, your IPA file for the WhatsApp. So go ahead and go into your iTunes folder. Uh, you're going to go into iTunes Media mobile applications and just scroll down here to the bottom at WhatsApp. Uh, so I believe this is one of the most recent versions of WhatsApp. Uh, this is the iOS 7 version. I have iOS 7 on both my devices. If you have iOS 6, make sure you have the uh, iOS 6 IPA downloaded from iTunes uh, or whatever copied over from the device if you originally downloaded it on your device. Uh, just know where this location is. Yeah, you can close this window. Uh, we're going to need this in a second. Uh, so go ahead and go back into iPhone box and uh, into user applications and you're just going to hit the install app button. Now go ahead and go into music, iTunes, iTunes media, mobile applications and then scroll down to WhatsApp. Just hit open and it's actually going to go ahead and start installing the app on the device. And this is something that you can't do straight from the app store because uh, the App Store specifies that WhatsApp can only be installed on an iPhone, uh, but for whatever reason, iPhone Box uh, seems to be able to do it without uh, just kind of going around that. So just go ahead and wait for it to install, and uh, remember that you do have these two folders on your desktop, and we're going to need these as soon as it finishes installing on your device. Like I said previously, um, you don't need a jailbreak to do this, uh, although if you have a jailbreak, there is probably a different way. Uh, I found this to be the easiest for me, and uh, especially if you're going on international trips, like uh, I'm about to do in a month or so here, uh, it's going to be really helpful for me to be able to bring along just an iPod and not a phone that's going to be roaming mobile data thing. And so that's why I'm doing this. Anyways, you can see that the WhatsApp icon has now appeared, and uh, go ahead and just take, go ahead and just copy from Mac here. You don't even just leave these deselected. So everything's deselected. Copy from Mac. Go to Desktop. Just go ahead and uh, select this as well as this. So you can do a com hold Command, click on Documents, click on Library, hit Open. Uh, it's just going to go ahead and replace everything by default. If it gives you a little uh, dialog, which it shouldn't, uh, just say you know replace. Um, and then you can go ahead and close this out. Now in your iPod, uh, you should just be able to uh, open up WhatsApp and all of your uh, all of your chats and everything is going to be there. Uh, it's going to pop with a little message that says allow the uh, allow WhatsApp in uh, you know your system settings, but that's that's about all you're going to need. You don't even need to do that. Uh, you can try and find it out if you want to, but uh, it usually gives you a little dialogue when you install it and it's already there. Uh, so that's basically all you have to do to install. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, uh, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter. Uh, look at some of my other videos, and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.